Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 8 in Beta Gamma Functions. And of course, this will be the last lesson in Beta Gamma Functions. And as always, the most important question and the five important points. And in this lesson, we are going to learn one very, very important question that has been repeated in your past year's question papers. So, please write the question. Evaluate the integral 0 to 1 dx the whole divided by 1 minus x to the power 6 the whole power 1 by 6. And please mark this question very very important okay in lesson number six and in lesson number seven we were using the definition of gamma function we were using the definition of gamma function to evaluate some special integrals like that uh, in this problem we'll use the definition of beta function and if you are not sure with the definition uh, pause the video right now and check lesson number one and if you're making notes from lesson number one then turn to the first page the definition of beta function will be there anyway beta mn is given by integral 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 and 1 minus x the whole power n minus 1 dx and of course, m and n are positive numbers. So, with this, let's start. And remember, you should learn to read from right to left. Because you're going to get an integral in the form 0 to 1. And you should identify that integral with our beta mn. Okay. And as I promised, the method is very easy. In lesson 7 and lesson 6, you saw the trend. You take the quantity which is near to e to the power minus and put t is equal to that and you always get the answer. Here the technique is somewhat similar but there is no e to the power, right? So we put x power 6 is equal to t. Let's see what happens. Okay. As always, the two important things, t equal to x power 6. So if x is equal to 0, look at this the variable of integration is x so we have x equal to 0 to 1 if x equal to 0 we have 0 to the power 6 that is 0 and if x equal to 1 we have t is equal to 1 to the power 6 that is 1 now we have x is equal to t to the power 1 by 6 that means dx is equal to 1 by 6 t to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 d and whatever happens don't leave that minus 1 you may need that minus 1 at the last okay so shall we substitute yeah, sure so i is equal to i forgot to give the given integral a name trust me let's call it i so integral t is equal to um, yeah, 0 to 1 dx is 1 by 6 t to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 the whole divided by the whole divided by 1 minus t the whole power 1 by 6 and did we forget something i hope not okay so uh, dt that is i is equal to I'm going to keep that 1 by 6 outside, t equal to 0 to 1, um, t power 1 by 6 minus 1, and I'm going to take this whole thing up. And I'm sure you know that 1 by a power n is a power minus n. And with that fact, I'm going to write this in the numerator. Okay, my friends, one more step, and we reach very near to the answer. Look at this. For that, I wanted to take a good look at the definition of beta mn. We have something minus 1, something minus 1. 
and limit is 0 to 1 limits uh, is okay and we have something minus 1 uh oh this is not something minus 1 so what I do is I do a trick 1 by 6 is equal to um, let's say n minus 1 so what should be n is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 minus, that's 5 by 6 yeah so what I do in the next line is 1 by 6 in del t equal to 0 to 1 t power 1 by 6 minus 1 1 minus t the whole power 5 by 6 minus 1 now it looks like the beta function so that is i is equal to 1 by 6 beta 1 by 6 5 by 6 i hope you understood that and we convert beta into gamma so gamma 1 by 6 gamma 5 by 6 whole divided by gamma 1 by 6 plus 5 by 6 that is gamma 1 and in the last video we learned what to do when the sum is 1 what should we do pi by sine 1 by 6 pi and that will be 1 by 6 pi by what is sine 30 degree 1 by 2 so that gives me pi by 3 that's it I hope you understood how to tackle this question but if you want to be confident in the exam you should of course work out the question again and again and again and please remember this question has been repeated many times and maybe maybe they might ask the same question again so practice and be prepared now let's uh, wind up this video with a very small question and a very simple question and the question is prove that I am a little bit lazy so I am going to write PT prove that beta m n multiplied with beta m plus n l is equal to beta n l multiplied with beta n plus l m so let's start from the LHS okay what is beta m n gamma m gamma n by gamma m plus n and this is gamma m plus n gamma l by gamma m plus n plus l isn't it and this is equal to I don't know what's that but I'm going to do a small trick here it's a prove that question I'm hundred percent confident um, we will get this so I will leave one step here and I'm going to write whatever I want I, that is gamma n gamma l by gamma n plus l gamma n plus l gamma m by gamma n plus l plus m and that is of course so clearly this and this got cancelled and we have gamma m okay I can see the same character here and we have gamma l I can see the same character here and gamma n is also here and here there is some rearrangement that is here it is like m plus l I should have written clearly plus n it's the same thing here we have gamma n plus l and these two will get cancelled each other so that's it that's it my friends so I'll be back soon with some other topic so till then my friends bye